Good morning, you two people. Gallon here again from Carphonics. Uh, I've been lacking on the videos a little bit lately, I know. Uh, kind of trying to get them, you know, in between here and there, at least two or three a week. And uh, I think I've been doing a pretty good job of that, at least. Uh, it is the busiest time of the year currently as we speak, so a little bit difficult to get them up every day. But today, we're working on this, which is a 2008 Porsche Cayman S in that bright, beautiful yellow color. When I was a kid, my parents used to uh, tell us to look for yellow cars when we're driving down the road. And the uh, funny thing is, the other day we were on a road trip with my kids and my wife, and uh, I was looking around and I said, uh, well, the kids actually asked me, are we there yet, are we there yet? And I said, uh, no, we're not there yet, but uh, you know, keep yourself occupied by looking for yellow cars. And when I was a kid, there used to be shitloads of yellow cars. And uh, as of right now, you can't really see too many of them. So I just thought it was kind of humorous that this thing's bright and yellow. And uh, maybe not my preferred choice of color, but you know. Anyhow, so I'll show you what we're doing to this thing. Uh, this thing is getting a full on audio system. So we're placing all the speakers, uh, the woofers in the doors. Uh, I built just a little uh, amp rack here just yesterday out of MDF. Not the prettiest thing in the world, just something to hold the amp. Uh, we're gonna be doing C5 tweeters up in the dash. Uh, C5 door speakers, C5 rear speakers, uh, Pioneer woofers in the doors, 8 inch woofers in the doors, uh, base control knob, and uh, the new, oh, I'm not sure how new they are, but the RD 905 amplifier, and uh, this little bad boy basically just gets mounted on top of this rack here. See if I can do this one handed, there we are. And uh, it's gonna go underneath of the hood, so I'll show you that now. Got this thing delatched, so might as well pop this up. Got most of the panels off in here already, as you can see. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove all the panels, remove the radio, remove all the door skins, get the rear speakers replaced. And uh, but the first step I'm gonna do is uh, grab that shelf, wherever that steel shelf went. Oh, you know what? It's in the back now. Can't use that red shelf or that uh, steel shelf. So I'm gonna take all the panels off from underneath of here. Okay, take all the door skins off, get the radio removed out of the hole, and uh, maybe take you through the process on showing you how to do that. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, so this amp rack, which I've got right here, uh, you're not really going to see this thing, um, but I've painted it black just so, you know, it looks kind of copacetic. This just sits right there like so, and then the uh, amplifier will go right on top like this. That'll slide on in there like a show. Little little whistle makes things everything better. And then uh, when you look at the amp, you'll see it from the top skin here. This little thing will just, uh, I'm not sure where the hell the cover went for that. Let's see here. That's the bottom one, this is the top one. So this little cover goes over top, I think. Yeah, uh, one hander here, there we go. So that'll go there, so when you lift that up, you'll see the amplifier ever so nicely. And uh, all the skins will go over top, like so. It is sealed in the trunk too, it's not on the outside of the car. Right, it's all, it's all sealed and there's ventilation here, here, you know, all over the place for the amplifier. It's a digital lamp, so not planning on getting too, too hot. So that's the idea, you pop this sucker open, you'll be able to see the amplifier all sitting there pretty, like so. So anyhow, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing uh, started to get the thing taken apart. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the doors apart, get the radio out, the doors here are uh, just fairly basic. You got an 8 inch woofer down there, and then you got a 4 inch woofer there, which is just a, a, a mid driver. And then up in the dash here, uh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that there. But right there, there's a little tweeter. There is a center channel, but we're not going to be using the center channel on this. Got the radio right there, and then we got a couple of speakers in the rear here, which uh, are going to be getting replaced as well. Right there. Got Craig here and uh, got uh, Damien, you know, monitoring. We're talking about diesel and running a monkey piss. Apparently that's monkey piss diesel. Monkey piss diesel. Oh, check this thing out, guys. Wow. Isn't that something? That is absolutely awesome. What year is this thing, Craig? 97. 97. Forerunner, right? For no, no. Oh, my God. No. no it's a Land Cruiser. <laughs> oh, my grandfather. <laughs> It's a Land Cruiser diesel. This is an active vacation. So it's got, uh, it's 
It's got some fun stuff in the back here. You're new, you're new. here, I'll help you. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Cool. Check this thing out. Those are his plates. Yeah. He kayaks. I kayak. No, no, that's a Russian thing. Oh, it's a Russian thing. Okay. Let's not focus on that. Yeah. That's yeah. the that's the sink and stove, camping stove. This turns into a platform with, for a bed. Yeah. For fucking. Yeah. Right on. Making, making sandwiches. Yeah, making making sandwiches. Big time. Got a rack back here with a shovel on it in case you need to get yourself out of predicaments. Isn't that something? Wow, this thing's so clean. Wow. Very, very nice. Look at that. Wow. Wow, we, wow, we. All right, guys, so I'm going to go ahead and get to work and uh, I'll catch up with you in a few minutes here. So, all right, so we got the uh, under the thrunk. It's a thrunk. Take it apart here. A lot of this stuff just Velcros into place or clips into place. It's really not that difficult to take apart. It's like an old VW bug, right? So we got our amp rack here. Again, this thing isn't gonna be seen, but uh, this just sits right here. And uh, there you are. So the amp rack will be going there. And then there's the amplifier. will be going here, like so. And uh, that'll be getting all nicely hidden away behind the panels there. We'll attach that amp rack so she doesn't slide around. And then we got our factory amplifier here. We're gonna be using all the existing factory wiring for the aftermarket uh, amplifier here. So that's just gonna be getting bridged from there and then going up into here. Got a battery there, so nice short runs of power cable. Uh, we gotta get our RCAs ran through the firewall. But before we do any of that, we're gonna go ahead and start taking apart each door panel. What do you think? Hi. All right, so we've got a uh, door panel off here. And uh, as you can see, there's an eight inch driver in the door here which we're gonna go ahead and replace with an aftermarket woofer. Uh, probably end up making a bracket that goes on here for the eight inch driver. And then the door panel itself is uh, taken apart right here. Whoa, whoa. And uh, so we got a four inch driver right here. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this. Uh, this is gonna be a C5 four inch woofer here, the eight inch driver here. And then uh, Damien's working away in the back here. Taking apart some of this fun Jew jab. Gotta get those little drivers right down in there. Those little panels way back in there. Should be a real blast. So we're gonna go ahead and take apart all this. Get probably all the speakers done first and then uh, start working away on the stereo head unit. Not, not the head unit, but the head unit. Okay, so we've got uh, door number one, door number two apart. And uh, we got rear speaker number one out. And now we're working on number two on that side there. So we're gonna go ahead now and uh, start removing that speaker, get the stereo out, get the other A-pillar out, and uh, then we can start working on the tweeters. And yeah, from there guys. All right, so let me show you the extent of which you have to take apart your Porsche to do the entire audio system. So rear panels out, rear speakers out, A-pillars, as you can see on the Passenger side all the way along there has been taken out all the way to the back. Same thing up here, same idea. Tweeters come out there at that point. And uh, next we're working on the stereo itself, the head unit. All right, so we're putting a circuit breaker in this one. Got a little bracket there that just so happens to fit this freaking circuit breaker absolutely perfectly. Got some nice sheathing on there. It's our four gauge power cable. Nice heat trunked up there. Looks really good, Dave. Good job. Good job. Yeah. I'm eating lunch. I made butter chicken and East Indian delight with naan bread. All right, things are looking pretty good there. Amplifier is going there. It's temporarily sitting right there. We're gonna go ahead now and uh, route our RCAs for the audio system. Um, so we're going to be using these bad boys here, these T-Spec uh, V12 Twisted Pair 2-channel RCAs. These are 10-footers. You don't need 17-foot of RCAs uh, wrapping up, uh, you know, 10-foot of RCAs behind a dash can sometimes create uh, alternator wine and that type of thing. So it's better if we just uh, go ahead and uh, use shorter RCAs. So we have front, rear, and sub. We're gonna go ahead and add a remote wire to turn the amplifier on and off. 
We'll uh, end up Tessa taping all these together nicely, labeling them so I know which one is for what, and uh, I'll show you what that looks like after. All right, so we're reassembling some stuff here. Got the uh, factory amplifier removed here, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, delume this and uh, route it behind the brake boosters so we can get it to the uh, aftermarket amplifier there. Power cables, RCAs, all that fun jazz has been installed. Uh, next, we're probably gonna go ahead and work on the tweeters, get those in, and uh, we have some speakers here, which is some C54 inches underneath of this, in this box here. This little baby right here is the factory amplifier. Look how cute this thing is, guys. <laughs> yeah, pretty funny looking. I guess uh, it's got some aluminum heat sinks on the side there. Just a little baby. She's just a wee little one. Anyways, guys, I think that's going to be it for today's video. I will keep you posted on what's going on with this car. Uh, we'll get some speakers installed throughout the rest of the day and uh, get some things situated. That way, uh, tomorrow's video, we can start to uh, show you how to make some custom brackets for the doors, for the 8-inch woofers that are going in there. And, uh, yeah, we'll start reassembling as soon as we test and tune the system. I think we're waiting on the dash kit to come in today. Uh, we got another car outside there, Corvette. Not sure if you guys can see that there, right there. Anyhow, Damien, any last final words for today's video? Friggin' hot, eh? It's friggin' hot. All right, boys, keep your filly on a drilly. Have a good one.